Alternators or generators are working like motors, but in a reverse way. It works based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which says the current is induced in the conductor inside a magnetic field when there is a relative motion between that conductor and magnetic field. Typically, a rotor with induced magnetic fields, which is rotating inside a stationary conductor coils. The fields cuts across the stator conductors generating an induced electromotive force. But first let's understand concept of electricity. Using the Faraday's principle, having a coil and a rotating magnetic field, current will be induced each time the magnet passes the coil. With this representation is single phase alternating current. When we add other coils, we'll form the second and third phase of the alternating current, which are usually displaced 120 degrees from each other. The current is a sinusoidal manner. When the magnetic field is coming the intensity is increasing, and it reaches its maximum intensity. Then re reduces in intensity. Similarly, generators can generate AC current in a similar manner. The main parts are rotor and a stator. The rotor is the rotating part and has some induced magnetic fields. So the induced magnetic fields will cut the stator winding to produce electricity. Also this type of a rotor is a salient pole rotor type. The rotor which has induced magnetic fields must a prime mover which is usually a turbine. Turbines for example Francis turbines has special shape that enable water to rotate them. When we use a four-pole rotor, remember rotor must have induced magnetic fields and a single conductor. The rotor fields will cut the stator windings to produce an alternating current as shown. Adding the second and third windings displaced 120 degrees from each other will form a three-phase alternating electricity. The one terminal each of the windings are always connected together to form a star configuration. The other terminals will form our three phases, red, yellow and blue. Also the rotor induction can be provided by an external DC supply or can be self-excited. But there is a regulator is used to regulate the current flowing. But all these are for another day. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, kindly subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one.